Hello, and welcome back to Apex. And thank you for choosing the Comprehensive Fuel Engineer Profession Setup Guide. As mentioned when you picked the Fuel Engineer Profession, Fuel Engineers will be the foundation for faster than light and slower than light travel. Both fuel types are used in great quantities by the colonists of the galaxy. To start, let's click the Construct command in the base tile. From here you will see that you have the Infrastructure tab selected. It's here that you can find a catalog of habitation units that are available for you to build. Since our starter workforce will largely contain pioneers, let's build two pioneer habitation units. After that, let's navigate to the Resources tab of the Construction Tile. It is here that you can see the Extractor and the Collector. Depending on your choice of planet, you will want to either pick the Extractor if your planet has a mineral like Galarite on it, or a Collector if your planet has ammonia gas in the atmosphere. Take time now to look at what the resource composition of your planet is now. For this example, we will use the extractor. If you notice, the extractor has a workforce requirement. In this case, the extractor will require 60 pioneers. Since you have been given enough construction materials for two pioneer habitation units, you will have room in your base for 200 pioneers. Let's build the extractor. Next, let's navigate to the Settlers tab. It is here that you will find the refinery. The workforce requirements for the refinery state that you will have 20 settlers work at the refinery. Settlers are the next tier of colonists that you can employ at your base. However, the refinery will work perfectly fine without settlers for the time being. It will just run at a bit of a decreased efficiency until you can afford to build habitation for your settler populations. Please construct the refinery now. Let's once again adjust the UI by expanding the bottom right two windows vertically a bit. Inside the upper right blank tile, we are going to put your production information there. So please navigate to your base tile and select production. With the tile that just appeared, please drag it into the blank tile. Next, we also want to find out about the resources your workforce will consume to produce your goods. So select the workforce button from the base tile and drag it to the bottommost blank tile. You will now see in the production tile that you have two production lines. Please select the new order button above the extractor. You will see that a production order tile appeared. It is here that you can order production on a variety of recipes, but in the case of the extractor, there will only be a couple of recipes available for it, depending on the planet you selected to start your base at. Please select the Galarite recipe. Next, you are going to see your order size slider. This increases the order size you wish to produce, but keep in mind it does not offer any efficiency bonus apart from increasing the order size, so it is recommended to keep it at its lowest setting. Once you are satisfied with your order, click the Q order button. Your extractor is now extracting Galarite from the planet. Alternatively, if your planet didn't have Galarite but had ammonia instead, Follow the same steps except with a collector and your collector will mine ammonia gas from the atmosphere. Next, in your inventory you will see that you have 46 units of hydrogen, 14 units of helium-3 isotope, 6 units of ammonia, and 14 units of galarite. Let's fire up the refinery. As you can see, you have a couple options available to you depending on what you want to produce. You can produce slower than light fuel with 1 ammonia, 2 galarite, and 3 hydrogen or faster than light fuel with two helium-3 isotope and four hydrogen. It might be a good idea to see what is demanded on the market more and use that as your guide to your decision. Once you have made your decision, choose the recipe and click the Q order button. Keep in mind that you can order multiple orders by clicking the Q order button again. It is important to keep on top of your orders to ensure your factories are constantly producing. Now that your collector or extractor and refinery is running, it is best to wait until you have a sizable amount of fuel. When you feel like you have enough, you will take it to the market to sell. Once you have sold your first batch of goods, it is recommended that you purchase the ingredients that you are not extracting. So this could be ammonia, gallerite, hydrogen, or helium-3. Once you purchase additional ingredients, head back to your base to produce more fuel. This has been the Comprehensive Fuel Engineer Profession Setup Guide and has been indicated as complete by the Apex module, so this video broadcast will now be concluded. Please continue further to the next video broadcast about next steps with your base. 
Thank you for choosing the Advanced System for the facilitation of production and exchange for the exodus of mankind.